Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming at you with another screencast. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, iTunes Match again. And today we're specifically going to be talking about how to upgrade your songs to a higher bit rate. So we'll cover some of the things that go into that, uh, as well as just uh, kind of making the upgrade happen. And then uh, some simple ways that you can uh, find the songs that you need to upgrade in your library. All right. Uh, one of the things I want to show you, and one of the reasons a lot of people uh, were interested in iTunes Match, was for the ability to be able to upgrade songs. Uh, back in the days when Apple started off, you might have a lot of uh, songs that you bought from iTunes that have DRM on them, which is Digital Rights Management, and uh, it was at the 128 kilobits per second rate. Uh, but Apple has since upgraded that, uh, taken off the DRM, and now it's at 256 kilobits per second, which is a higher quality recording. And so the ability to upload and upgrade those songs uh, is an attractive uh, thing about iTunes Match. And so I want to show you how to do that here uh, today. Uh, so what I did is I sorted by bit rate so that I could see my 128 kilobit songs. And for instance, this song right here was a song that I purchased from the iTunes store. And if we just take a look at it real quick here, uh, you can see it says protected AAC C audio file, right? So that's one that has DRM on it. So let me just say OK on that. Now, in order for this to work, what you want to do is just uh, control click on the song and you want to delete the song. I know this sounds bad. You're thinking, oh no, I've got to delete it, but you want to delete the song. But just make sure that you don't check this box that says also delete the song from iCloud because if you do that, it takes it off iCloud as well and assumes that you don't want to have anything to do with the song anymore. So I'm just going to delete this song right here. I'm going to move it to the trash. And you'll notice that what happened here is the song still shows in my library but now it shows a little cloud next to it and it shows the 256 kilobits per second. So all I need to do now just to upload, upgrade that song is just click this little download arrow here and now as you can see it's starting to download the song for me and it'll put it in my uh, iTunes library and it'll be upgraded and it's just like uh, the song was, uh, was, uh, was there all along. And uh, it's great because usually you had to pay 30 uh, cents per song to upgrade it to iTunes Plus. But now with this method, you can get that up updated. And you'll notice that all of the play counts and everything else still stays with my track. And so now if I, uh, if I uh, uh, show the information on this song, you'll see now that it just says purchased AACC audio file. So it no longer says protected. And so there's no more DRM on that song. And you can do that for all of the different songs in your library. Uh, so you might want to just check that out. If you just sort by bitrate, you can see the different songs that you have that may have been ones that you've purchased uh, before that you need to upgrade. And you can do that upgrade that, that simply uh, uh, using iTunes Match. All right, for some of you, you may not want to go through the bitrate one at a time and have to hunt and peck and find the songs that need to be uh, updated or upgraded uh, to the 256 kilobits per second uh, iTunes Plus music. Uh, so one of the things you can do is create a smart playlist to speed that up for you. So if you would come up here to the menu and just go on File, and you're going to click New Smart Playlist. And so here's a way that you could set a playlist up that would help you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the bitrate, and we're going to say the bitrate is uh, less than, okay, so I'm going to say less than uh, 256 kilobits per second. All right, so that gives us the music that needs to be updated. Uh, then we're going to add uh, media kind here because we want it to only be uh, the music that we've got. We don't want it to be music videos or anything like that. We only want it to be uh, music. Now, one of the things we're going to do is to uh, get, a, get something that tells us that any of the following are true. If you just click Option on your keyboard, you'll notice here that the plus turns to a little bar there. And when you get those little three dots, if you press that, it allows you to set up a condition. And so what we're going to say is any of these things that I'm going to add can be true. Uh, so here we're going to go to iCloud status. And so we want the iCloud status is matched. Okay, because those are the ones that we that we can update. And the other thing we want to add is that the iCloud status uh, not only includes those songs that are matched, but also those songs that are purchased, right? Because you may have some purchased music that you bought before that was under the 128 kilobits per second that you want to uh, update. And so you can have it on live updating there. And once you click OK, what happens is it creates this playlist that shows you all of those songs that are under 256 kilobits per second. And you can see here that we're either matched or if we scroll down here and look, we're purchased. You can see those here. 
And so then from here, uh, we'll go through the same process of just deleting these songs, and you could delete all of them if you want to, and then uh, downloading them, uh, just like I showed you uh, in the other video. And then that way you'd have all your songs updated and you know which ones were there. All right, one other thing that I wanted to show you is how to take care of upgrading your songs on other Macs. And this is so I'm on my laptop right now. And obviously one of the problems with trying to keep two libraries is just the size and those kinds of things. You can see here I've got uh, 36 uh, gigabytes worth of music on here. And I'd like to save space on my laptop. Now the beauty of iCloud is that you can have access to all of your music and actually stream it to a laptop. Now you can't stream to your iPhone, uh, unfortunately. You have to download while you listen. But but on your laptops and your Macs, you can do that. So I've selected all of my music here. And so what I'm going to do is control click on it all. And I'm going to come down here to, to delete. I know it sounds scary. It's like, oh, how can you do that? I'm going to delete them all. And I'm going to move them to the trash. Okay, so everything's going to get uh, thrown in the trash can here, which is going to take a little bit to uh, delete all of the items because of the size of it. So it's actually going to remove them uh, from my computer uh, right away. And so it's going to go through this part of it. And then what we're going to do is turn on iTunes Match, and you'll see that uh, all of my music will be there. And I can download it the way I want. I can listen to it. And I'll show you how that works. So that on your external devices, if you have one home library, you can keep that up to date. But on all your other devices, you don't have to worry about it. All right, so you can see everything's gone now. I've got an empty music album. So I'm going to come over here to iTunes Match, and I'm going to click on it. And it says, Add This Computer. So I'm going to add my computer to my account, and I will put in my password. And it's going to uh, go through the process now of adding my computer, accessing the store. Uh, it's gathering information uh, about my library, and we'll probably go through this whole uh, process of just making sure that everything's there. And you can see right away it says that uh, my library is available to the cloud. There's all of my songs. So I can uh, come up here to music now. And you can see the cloud working there. It's in the process right now of giving me access to my songs. So if I just uh, click off of it and come back to it here, there you can see all of my songs are right here. And they're being added to my library. And it shows that I've got 80 gigabytes worth of stuff in here Okay, that's accessible to me. And you'll notice I've got a little download arrow uh, next to things on here. I'm scrolling a little fast there. I got a little download arrow, uh, but I don't have to download it. If I wanted to uh, actually uh, listen to a particular song, I can do that. So if I just click on it uh, to listen to it, it's going to the cloud to get the song. Uh, there's a bit of delay right now because it's loading it all up, but uh, it'll start playing the song. Now, if you notice, it's playing it right now, and it's streaming my song. It's not putting it onto the... Uh, uh, onto the cloud there. You can see the little cloud icon, so it's streaming it off the internet. So the beauty of it is, is now I've got access to all of my songs and everything's in great shape. All right, well that's it for our screencast today. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with iTunes Match. And I'll be back with you in the future with another uh, screencast to teach you how to do more things with your Mac.